Hi guys, my today topic is bearing. Today I will classify what is the bearing and types of the bearing, and it's huge. I have one bearing. The first question: What is the bearing? So, bearing. Uh, is a device that support the rotating parts of machine so and further i classify it at the bearing there are two types first is friction bearing another is anti friction bearing and in friction bearing there are no rolling element are used this bearing this friction type of bearing this bearing are used for slow running any heavy load on the shaft it produce high friction this type of bearing also known as plain bearing sliding bearing as well as a slide bearing another part of the bearing is anti friction bearing which we mostly used like this i have anti friction bearing so anti friction bearing to rotate the shaft rolling element is used there is rolling element inside this called ball in this type of bearing rolling elements are used in this type of bearing rolling rolling elements are used thus reducing reducing the friction to reduce the friction we use inside this bearing roller roller or balls due to rolling elements friction is less it means inside the roller and the ball are reducing the friction for this anti friction bearing i define here this called outer rest and this part called inner which is bore hole the shaft will fix inside this dia this id this od this inner rest and this is the cage inside wall and outer side is sealed now i use in this topic two words one is axial load another is radial load i i am going to define this axial load and radial load suppose that my bearing is here it's running like this so this is the shaft like that so in the shaft perpendicular force which force is applying that is called radial load f r another suppose that my bearing is like that and the motion is like that this shaft is like this then the load is axial it is the parallel of the shaft it is clear okay uh anti friction bearing uh types there are two type of anti friction bearing first type is ball bearing another is 
roller bearing. A ball bearing is a type of bearing element which uses a ball and that ball is fitted between races of bearing. There is outer racing, inner racing and inside in between two races there is inside a ball. So and moving inside that means ball bearing use a ball as a rolling element because of using the ball as a rolling element so here we found a point contact between ball and race there is one point contact if we seen it contact one point outer race another point is inner race and there is cage cage act as a barrier between a ball or roller and presents them from colliding with each other this is the cage it separates two balls from the collisions ball bearing made up of carbon chrome steel and it's used in mostly in high speed types of ball bearing this first single row ball bearing second one double row ball bearing third one angular contact bearing fourth thrust ball bearing fifth self aligning ball bearing and six is deep groove ball bearing ball bearing ball bearing the first bearing of the ball bearing is single row ball bearing this type of bearing ball is arranged in a single row manner this type of bearing is mostly used for low rpm and high speed and to be a radial load radial load means perpendicular on the shaft load this is the single row ball bearing another one double row ball bearing this type of bearing ball is arranged in two row in a specific manners and this type of bearing radial load existing capacity of more than single row ball bearing the load carrying capacity is greater than the single row ball bearing third one is angular contact bearing this type of bearing is designed in such a manner to be a angular as well as a axial loads these types are used for high radial and axial load either you apply here axial load or any radial load it carrying both load with same bearing self aligning aligning ball bearing this type of bearing is used where a little of alignment is missing also this type of bearing is used where high rpm and high radial load are required fifth one is thrust ball bearing this type of ball bearing is used to be a horizontal and vertical thrust load any can any one load either it horizontal or vertical 
this we are both load six one a deep group ball bearing in this type of bearing balls are inserted in a groove which is made in between the inner and the outer races this type of bearing existing load capacity are high as the compare of others ball bearing in next video i will define about the roller bearing and friction bearing so thanks for watching my youtube channel please like subscribe and comment thank you